Would you like to revive Apache Lawn? So, as you can see, my lawn is looking worn and patchy. And I'm going to restore it by reseeding, especially in the affected areas. Even out small bumps and dips here and there. And it is in such a poor state that you can see. And I'm going to generously reseed it. Reason my lawn looks so patchy is all because I did not take care of it at all last year. By the way, now is late March. Spring and autumn are the ideal times to repair a lawn. When the weather is damp and cool, the lawn is most likely to recover well in these conditions. To start off, I'm doing a layer of garden soil or topsoil in the patchy areas wherever needed. Now I'm going to give a good rake to the soil. And so I'm scattering the grass seed evenly over the prepared soil. Please, please be generous, else you wouldn't get a good result. So there, I'm covering it all over. The applicator in the box, of course, helps us to evenly spread out the grass seeds. I'm sprinkling the seeds generously so there comes a lushy green lawn because as you can see my lawn is ripped off. Now I'm going to cover the seeds with light sprinkling of topsoil. Then firm out the soil gently with your feet to make a level surface. So I laid the topsoil all over my garden as you can see. This area I did, I did the topsoil generously. But there at the back end, I did it sparingly. Note that newly sown grass is susceptible to drying out until well rooted. So water the lawn regularly if there isn't enough rain over the following months. Once the weather warms up in spring and grass starts looking back into growth, it's a good time to give your lawn some extra care and attention to prepare it for the rigors of summer. Regular maintenance is the best way to keep a traditional lawn looking neat and healthy and avoid the need for large scale renovation later on like I do it now. And now as you can see here we have a very good result and this is a two weeks old grass which is growing up nice and fresh and lushy and so tender and this is a six weeks old healthy looking grass so look at that my garden looks really lushy green so dense it's so i'm so impressed by the look of it and i'm so it makes my heart so happy on seeing you know the well established lawn looking green and lushy and dense we also took an extra step of laying these railway sleepers as a border one of our friends suggested us to lay the sleepers and we did it all to add to the beauty to the lawn 
So here I removed, at first I removed all the debris or vegetation in the area to ensure I have a clear surface before, you know, starting to lay the sleepers. Ch dug a shallow trench for the first sleeper to lie in. One third in the ground and two thirds on top of the ground. Put in a layer of gravel to avoid water pooling around the edges of the sleepers. So this will help excess water drain away and reduce the likelihood of the wood rotting. Then I bed in my newly dug foundation with a weight and, and now our garden looks nice and bright and colorful and lushy green as well. It Here as you can see two to three weeks after I seeded uh, the grass seeds, seedlings popped up and it was after the la last hard frost that I seeded and scattered the seeds and I, as you saw in the previous clipping that I had generously scattered the seeds all over especially in the huge patches that we had and here it is fully the lawn is completely ready and grown and ready to be mowed and now I'm going to mow it at I mean I, I want to make a point here after it grows to five to seven seven approximately five to seven and a half inches make sure you mow them at a high level do not go deep else due to the scorching sun is able to dry up it's always better to mulch the grass which means you, i don't collect the grass in the box but i let it fall so all the nutrients go to the grass which is very good for the lawn for its growth as well so yeah so but he, there are weeds here and there which i will eventually take them off so that, as you can see this looks like a grass but I'm going to take him off so yes guys I mean getting your lawn ready is quite simple it's cheaper and less expensive than laying a turf turf of course it's readily grown grass where you lay it but then this is cheaper a bit time-consuming not too hard though so you could give it a try the best time to do your seeds for the lawn is early spring after the last hot frost has gone so which is what I did so you get the best results if this video has helped you to any extent you guys can hit the subscribe button and make sure you share it with your friends and families and enjoy your summer as we do now here thanks bye